Hi guys. Hi. Welcome. We're back again. Yeah, welcome to the second episode of Off Air with Baby and Tools. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it might be this. <laughs> it might be this. <laughs> but um, big, big shout out, first of all, before we start, a big, big shout out to everybody, all the um, all the love we got. I mean, the people who were listing the support, I was totally overwhelmed. I was like, ah, they like us like this? Wow. Thank you to all the people who watched. Um, and she was so nervous. And she had me so nervous. I'm like, what do you think? What is it? Oh my God. Oh my God. And the um, response was really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the people that subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. Thank you so much. We feel like, like real YouTubers gosh. now. Seriously. But wherever you listened um, and uh, wherever, whatever um, platform you listened, we really, 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 podcast yes, we really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Now, we have just, we have just, where should we begin? Okay, so um, you, because I oh, I'm, I don't get the pronunciation right, so maybe you should talk about this one. Oh, Kayamata? Yes, I, I always say Kayamatan, and uh, there's no N at the end, right? There's no N, girl. Okay, all right. There's no N. So, um, Kayamata is something I've been, I mean, I've been hearing about for a long, long, long time. Um, and in fact, I remember asking one of my friends who's from the North what it's all about, and she was like, oh, it's just some, you know, some nice herbal mixtures they give you when you're about to get married. Um, they say it's to, you know, prepare you for your marriage bed, ETC. It's really not that serious, but people have now changed it and turned it into something else. Some are sprinkling it with jazz and other things, light jazz, just light jazz. But whatever the case may be, we decided to um, go on Instagram and explore the different sellers of Kayamata and Yo, all these interesting herbs. There's so many people. I found this one. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's this lady, mm-hmm. and we're going to speak to her in a second. Uh huh. Um, so she has all these different things. Um, there's the hold on a second. There's a big wetness. The what? Kit. Big wetness. Why does kit. it have to be big and then wet? Um, and this is basically this set is for women that find it hard to get wet or get dry. Uh, quick during sex women that experience dryness this set will make you wet and sweet and your partner will enjoy sex with you doesn't that mean that he's not doing it right (laughs) i'm just asking i'm just asking probably probably maybe maybe change the partner or teach the partner (laughs) there's there's, there are like so many different ones that i found um there's the oh there's one called the squirt set there's the um basically what people do on instagram is that they sell some of these vendors sell these things because they claim that if you eat their herb or swallow some syrup or something it will make your husband or your partner more um uh, basically nicer to you and whatever you ask him for he'll give you i found another one this is the love and attraction powder this powder is the real deal when you (laughs) When you use it, you'll be the center of attention anywhere you enter. Why does this sound and like jazz? <laughs> it does a little bit. And there's this one called Love and Request Oil. This oil is not your regular oil. This one is to rub on the bed. This one is super effective. It is used to make your man love you and give you anything you ask for. So then, I have a then that's these? not natural now. It's not, but, but seriously, a lot of these people, they're making so much money. They're making so much money. And, um, okay, so the, the kits that I mentioned, the sets or whatever that I just mentioned, um, they're like 5K, 6K, 7K. So you know when you make things like, not cheap, but, you know, so sort of affordable uh-huh. then we have so many people in this country a lot of people you know want to have that person that they can just i guess but control. i feel like wouldn't you want that person to like you because they like you not because you sprinkled some powder on his face on the bed Ain't nobody something. got time for that what did you sprinkle for <laughs> captain how was that <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. My chest. it was my natural beauty and my you know lovely personality personality huh okay was was let's okay so let's then have a chat with this um one of lady. them mm-hmm. yeah okay so um hello hello good evening Good evening, please. I called you earlier. I um, I said I couldn't speak properly because I was at work. Oh, okay, yes, I remember. Yeah, this is bidding me. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I, I have a, a, a situation. I really want, um, I've been looking for how to solve this, but I don't even know. So I saw you, I saw your page on Instagram, and I just said, let me call you and see what you can help me with. 
Okay, so I've been dating this this guy for two years now. And I've been waiting for him to propose. He hasn't proposed. And it's getting very... I, I've, I, we've talked about it. He said when the time is right, when the time is right. But I want him to propose now. And then they, there's another person in the picture as well. There's somebody from his office that I know she, he likes her. And I know that she's always trying to, you know, um, spend time with him. So I don't know what to do. I want to get rid of her. He's, he's, um, the, the lady is his, kind of like his spec. She's, she's fair, very curvy. That's his spec. That's the kind of, that's the kind of get like. Mm, yes, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm fair, I'm fair and curvy as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, nice. A few moments later. I have 50,000 that I can spend, so tell me what you have and what it will do for me, please. Very, very strong ones. Okay. Get, and what, what would like, they do? Okay, then the set that you can use. Okay. That, that particular set is three thousand and two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Then it comes with Hello? It comes with a key. A key. A key. Okay. So those it comes with instructions. Instruction is long. You follow the instruction, you use it with and then maybe call his name, do some, you know, some talking, and then key. Where do I put the key? To keep it. Okay. Keep it. I don't, if sometimes they throw it away, but I don't advise to throw it away. I advise to put the key somewhere safe. Tomorrow, if I decide to say I don't know, I'm going to go to block it. Okay, so I, I, that key will make him love me more. So basically, my wish would be his command. Mm -hmm. Add it to his food. Okay. And that would make him, again, love me more, Abby. Okay, okay. There's another thing, but let me try. There's something else that I wanted to ask about, but let me try these ones first. Okay. Okay, right, okay. Maybe attraction powder or attraction. Attraction powder. Yeah, is it powder. okay? So the powder, do I put it on my face or how do how do I use it? You rub it on your face. And just put it on top. Okay, okay. Alright. So all of this now, how much will it cost? Thirty-five thousand naira. Okay. So this, 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 this will definitely work. Cause me, I want to get married by Easter next year. Three day fasting. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready. Hey, God! It is Lagos boys. Oh you are finished. Is, Can you see your life this outside? This is so crazy. Can you see your... This, is, this uh, is so crazy. Like, the, the battery just died right now. Look, eh, let me just tell you something. <laughs> First of all, on one hand, I don't want to believe that this is real. On the other hand, I'm, like, legit scared, like... This is probably what there is it to uh bro. Guys, 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 all the guys in the studio, this is your picture. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> your destiny and everything. Hey, somebody probably somewhere has your key. A key with your name written There's on a it. Key. Go for There's me. a key with your name written on it. Ah. Somebody's wearing perfume and ah, putting no, powder for you. No, no, no. <laughs> so people who do jazz also fast. I didn't know that. When she said fast, I was like, yo, who are you fasting for? <laughs> Who are you fasting to and for? I'm, I'm not finished fasting for <laughs> myself. For me to have my own fast for <laughs> one guy can like me. I said, crazy, crazy. Uh, so these things, these things are like um, very, very common now. And oh my gosh, if you have actually used it and it's worked for you or have hasn't worked for you, 
Or if, as a guy, you feel like somebody has used this on you, please let us know. Yes. This will complete our research. Just DM us, you know, off air, um, on off air podcast, right? Off air show. Off air show on Instagram. Just send us a DM. Give us your story. Yeah. I, mean, I will keep you anonymous. Of course. Yep. Yep. A uh, big shout out to Eventy Cocktails for the great cocktails. Thank you very much. I've been I've been sipping and sipping. So yeah, it really tastes good. Thank you. Um. Uh. Next topic. We have fan yeah. mail. We have fan mail. So we did ask you. Um, after the first episode, if you wanted us to talk about anything, mm-hmm. if you know you had some gist that you wanted us to dissect, mm-hmm. feel free to send us um, a message. And we do have a message. So this is how it reads. Um, she has a few things. This is what she says. I watched Off Air on YouTube. It was a fantastic show. You mentioned at the end of the show that we could suggest topics. And I thought to share this to have your perspective. Okay. How can young women, especially those in quest of career development, cope with the pressure of getting married from family she goes on to say i'm almost 29 and this pressure is getting to me they have me thinking i'll end up a spinster in these streets i have a great career which is a priority for me um <clears throat> do you want to start or should i start um pressure i could, I could start okay go on. pressure people are as in it's i guess it's normal unfortunately for especially in this part of the world for you to get pressure to especially get married before 30 i don't know who where it's not in the bible anywhere that you must get married before 30 or the quran or, or any of the holy books as far as i know um i feel like you should only get married when you want to get married um please don't marriage is a lifelong thing and mm-hmm. you don't want to jump into it just because people around you want to wear a be and eat rice there's going to be aunties disturbing you um asking you when are we going to eat rice just smile and say in god's time don't let anybody pressure you and because of that don't also just say yes to anybody who yeah. comes your way yeah um so please just i know that it's tough and it can be very annoying but mm-hmm. you, need, you need to be strong if you um, i feel like for your own well-being and happiness you need to be strong and decide when you want to get when married. you're ready yeah and i i always say this the people that are pressuring you to get married when you get married let's say to the wrong person when you're having issues they're not going to be there mm-hmm. they're not going to be living in your house they're not going to be like oh what can i do to help mm-hmm. they're going to be like oh you're a woman manage the situation manage your um, home yes manage your home okay so i would if this was a few years ago i'd have been like you know what do you go focus on your career f what everyone else thinks you know it's it's your decision and everything but um I'm a bit older now and, you know, I, I have more knowledge, I have more information. I would say this, focus on your career. If that's what's important to you, focus on that, but have a plan. So if you know that you want to get married, there's some ladies that I know that they're actually fine. If they get married, cool. If they don't get married, cool. If they have kids, cool. If they don't have kids, cool. But if you know that you want to get married and you want to have kids, then there are just certain things that I think you should put in place. So um, I would advise that if you know you absolutely want to have kids, unfortunately... I feel like this world isn't very fair to women because mm. guys can be be bachelors for as long as they want. They can eventually, you know, get married at 50. Look at George Clooney and still have kids. But we as women, and the older you get, the more difficult it is, if I'm just going to be honest. So I would say just make sure you have like a proper check. Just stay on top of that. Make sure that, you know, um, physically you're okay, you're fine. You know, if you have to check like once a year or maybe once or twice a year, just do that and just make sure you know exactly what's going on because you don't want a situation where you focus on your career and you're doing amazingly well. Then you get married and then you want to have kids and then, you know, something comes up and you're kind of like, oh, I wish I'd done this, I wish I'd done that. So that's the, that's the advice I would give. Just, you know, have a plan. But really and truly, I, do you regret getting married like in your 30s? Absolutely not. I don't, like... <clears throat> If I, if I had gotten married to who I, I was supposed to... Mm, 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 Same here. Nah, it, it wasn't meant to be. So I feel like you should just take your time. Yeah. And just do... Yeah. I was I was dating somebody in my 20s that I thought I was going to marry. Like, at that point, nobody could tell me that I wasn't going to marry this guy. And uh, we broke up. And I was like, oh my gosh, my husband. Now that I think about it, that dude was not for me. Not for me at all. Mm. I mean, you know, God bless his soul. Um, <laughs> but he just... Mm, I reckon that I, I joke with my friends, but I feel like there is a bit of truth in it. If I'd married this guy, I probably would have been an alcoholic now. <laughs> because, you know, I mean... I mean, we're cool with Facebook friends and stuff. I don't hate him, but I just feel like he wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't a bad... <laughs> I would have been a raging alcoholic. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hope everything's going okay with you. <laughs> oh, he's going to watch this and he's going to know. It's not by force. Is it? So, yeah, do you but have a plan. Yeah. 
Okay, so this past, uh, was it Thursday or Friday or so, we're all chilling at home, pressing our phones, and then BAM! Tua posts this clip of these um, ladies at the, at the radio stations talking about her, not in the nicest way. Um, and her caption goes something along the lines of, um, the, and these are the ones who will be yelling, um, women, supporting women, some, 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 something, something along the lines of that. And people were taking, giving their hot takes. When I was talking about that incident, but people were giving their hot takes on social media. A lot of people were like, a lot of women were like, you see, women are their greater, are their own greatest enemies. Women hate women, blah, 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 blah. And I strongly, strongly disagree. I don't think, I mean, it's a common saying, but I don't see when men are quarreling. I don't see, I don't see people saying, the oh, men hate MI. men. Oh, men hate men when uh, they have, when, when there's, uh, the, the two issues, guys have conflict yeah. or whatever it is. And I'm just like, so why are we always saying that oh, women hate women? What, whose propaganda is that? Like, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. See, I feel that there's some, um, there's certain people, uh, should I say certain women that, if you're not supporting this woman or if you're not like oh i agree with everything that you say it's because oh my gosh you hate women and it could be that i don't have an issue with her because she's a woman i just don't agree with her principles Mm -hmm. and that's fine Mm -hmm. for me i kind of take this as um you know especially like in you know america there's there's this whole debate of or if you're a black person you need to support every black person Mm -hmm. and i'm like that's not true if you're wilding out, if you're doing something you're not supposed to, just because you're black doesn't mean I should support you. Mm-hmm. Just the same way, if you're a woman doesn't mean I, I should support you just because you're a woman. Now, on the flip side, I do also believe, I do also believe that um, these cases, you do actually have women that don't like other women. And this is because, and not in every single case, mm-hmm. like there, I feel like there's some cases that it's just a case of, you know, you don't agree with their, you know, principles or what they did. Mm-hmm. And then in certain other cases, I feel like it is because there's some women out there that don't like other women. And this is because society has conditioned us to be competitive. I think from, from maybe when you were little, uh, you start to hear things like women are, um, you know, they're your great, they are going greatest enemies and you start to imbibe that. And all of a sudden, the next woman is now your competition or something. I feel like, first of all, let's put it this way. Like I already said, when two guys are beefing or whatever it is, whether they're artists or not artists, nobody comes to say, oh, men, men, are don't, the, like you men. Know, the men don't like men. I don't see any reason why. Men I'm, don't like men. That started wars. It started wars. Exactly. Men start wars. Men do all sorts of things. Which woman, which woman has started a war because she didn't like another woman? Then I'm, I'm going to... I will be um, yeah mentioned. No, I just feel like I, I feel like people because you're women, they automatically think everything should be kumbaya and you should all love each other. I feel like at the end of the day, before you're even before you're, you're a human being and mm. you are allowed to not agree with another human being, you're allowed to dislike another human yeah. being because maybe you don't agree with their principles or whatever it is, and that's fine. First of all, I also think that people, you know, they they paint this pretty pink picture of you know you're a woman and you're supposed to be a nurturer and a mini mom. Does everybody and, you know, like you? No. Nobody, not everybody I don't likes like me everybody. I'm, I'm okay with that. And if I don't like you, it's written all over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, and it, is, it doesn't mean I hate you and I hope you die. It yeah. just means I just don't like you at the moment. It is what it is. And I feel that women should be allowed to, if it's I don't like, like the yeah. other lady, I don't like her. And I also feel that at the end of the day, Statistics, uh, statistics even show that when a woman is in a management position, somehow, some way, more women get hired and things like that. I just don't like it when people... I feel like people expect women to be just be nice and pink and soft. That's why you hear sometimes people complain about, oh, my female boss is a bitch, is a this, is a that. Um, if your male boss is exhibiting the same... Um, a behavior that she's exhibiting. You nobody's gonna call him a bitch. Yeah. You just think, oh, he's just the boss. So that whole, I mean, there was a whole thread about it. I wish I, I I'll try to dig it up or whatever. The people that I write still... threads on Twitter, like, mm-hmm. what they, I mean, no, I mean, if if they're good at it, why not? Is it that they have like a lot of time? I've never been. Have I written a thread before? I can't remember. I don't know. And I do you like reading? What do you mean? Of course, I. One of my best. One of the best things I have is my Kindle. Okay. Yeah, one of the best things I have is my Kindle. I really, I, I really, Tinder. honestly, I think that Tinder is one of the best apps. I'm sorry, not Tinder. Oh! Tinder! <laughs> Tinder! Tinder! Because she said Kindle, I'm like, tw- anyway, Twitter, honestly. <laughs> honestly, seriously, I, I just feel like this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jai. <laughs> Twitter. And he too, he knows. You know what he calls me? He's like, hmm, Twitter dawn. He calls me because I really, really, honestly, Twitter is unmatched. Guys, Absolutely wait, unmatched, wait, go, honestly. Twitter, Tinder. Really? 
Um, this drink has started to hit, man. Woo! Mmm. We keep on filming the things I will say. Okay, let's keep on filming then, shall we? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. And my vector is Rick Kimani. <laughs> Yo, this whole week's Rick Kimani thing. Um, she is, if I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> she's kind of out of order, but it's so entertaining. <laughs> it's actually so entertaining. The fa- the fact that she keeps on going for people's jugulars. She has no fear. She does not care. She doesn't business. Mm. And um, it probably means she's not going to be in Nigeria anytime soon, right? But uh, they were inviting her to come. I hope they won't be sounding her from the airport. Like, no, but jokes apart. Okay, how, why the, whiz- the whiskey thing. Okay, Who so I choose to sleep with is my business. Oh, yes. Let's just break it down. So, of course, we all know that Vector and Emma have been going at it for quite some time now. Nobody has said men hate each other, by the way. But anyway, um, and people who say oh, that was rap whatever when cardi and nikki were were beefing did they not say women hate each other mm. anyway so you know vector releases his reply to emma is the viper calls him a rat judas the rat or something mm. and then victoria kimani says oh um i think the viper is the rat such a or killed the rat or something with the, the rat emoji and then someone really came for her she, the person was like you should be ashamed of yourself you're a disgrace to womanhood it's not this same chocolate city crew that came to rescue you when um you yeah, were you were it's, smashing whiz <laughs> when, when, he was, when he still had a girlfriend when he still had a girlfriend and the girlfriend was going to beat you. you and you had to jump out the window i was like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then um she replies and says well first of all that i could sleep with whoever i want whenever i want whatever i was just like okay so does that mean that can we pause mm-hmm so is she this confirmed me that she used to well, sleep with me. I mean, you know, if we're gonna let's take it off air, like we don't need to do on air. Basically, this isn't the first time that I heard of you know Victoria Kimani Wiz. You never heard it before. I'm not gonna lie, I have heard that before. So when this happened, I was like, hey, yeah, what's up, right? So, and she, asked, but what I'm saying is like, yo, Wiz, you need to write a book, man. Why? Like the the list. I'm just, I, I'm like, really, Wiz, D- different. What? He's a superstar. Well, you know, I don't like... Okay, I, I think because I knew Wiz from, like, before he blew up. Mm-hmm. And um, when I would see him, this is when he was still, like, you know, um, like, up and coming, and he'd come with Banky, and Banky would come and do interviews, and Wiz would sit there, and Banky would like, say something, like, oh, no, 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 and I'm like... <laughs> and I used to look at him, like, are you okay? Have, Have you seen? seen? And I'm like, do you want to play? Do you want to play? You know, so... <laughs> So I can't, like, because I saw him like that for such a long time, it's difficult for me to see this Lothario Wiz, this Slayer Wiz, this Slayer And we, we, one day we're going to go through his so, alleged list. Uh, we long. can't do that. That's slut shaming him, man. I don't think guys mind. <laughs> do you guys mind being slut shamed? Or do you mind being slut shamed? So yeah, like, should we should we yeah, ask should we DM him? Why? Wait wait why? Are you are there something you, that you're ashamed of? Yeah. These two guys have said they don't mind being slut shamed. They're lying. Right. Why? 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 Just keep it private. Why? Why do you want to air it out? Is it because you don't want to know about each other? No. Because he looks like he's got about three girls in his Baby. No. It's just you. I had some just about you. It's just you. Don't cut the show. Roll. Continue rolling. This one here. This one here. Back to this just jaw. Sorry, go Okay, so let's assume that Victoria was messing with Wiz. Is that the reason why she came after Tiwa? We should give her a call. We should. We should. We should give her a call. I'd be like, girl, why you mad, really? Why you mad? Mm-hmm. Put on if I head. was a guy, I'd be like, Wiz. But why are you clapping for Wiz? But if you were a babe now, will you be clapping for her? <laughs> it's, not, it's not even the issue of that she was messing with Wiz. It was the issue well, of that, oh, we had a girlfriend, yes, and then she yes, had to jump yes, out the yes. window because the girlfriend was going yeah. to get her ass. Yeah. I was just like... No, no, I, actually, that was... I mean, if he was single, if both of them were single... You know, mm, that's fine. Over, yeah, yeah, but, that's, that's, you know, that's why. Just I protect yourself was. and all that. But yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to call the alleged, I mean, the ex girlfriend and be like, girl, is it true you're about to beat her ass? And she had to jump out the window. You want to do that? You want to do that while we're filming? She was just his. <laughs> no. We what? should, we should. I like these. I like, I like the fact that we can call people. This is so cool. We should do that more often. <laughs> so would you, would, um, so if somebody like, you know, put like a list of people that you've, you know, me? My husband is the first person I live. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look at my innocent face. What do you mean? 
Uh-uh. I, I mean, because, 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 you know, um, I have people watching me too. Mm. I don't know. I just feel like, at the end of the day... Before I met my husband, I was pure. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, man. <laughs> On that note... We can mm. say goodbye. Goodbye. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, make sure you share this with friends because this is information they need to know. One of your friends might be in my fake situation. She might have been dating this guy for like two years and she wants to find out how she can, you know, lock him down. There's a key you can buy. Girl, no. There's powder you can rub. Mm. There's a perfume. Don't you, you watch can... Nollywood when the thing backfires and when the guy's eye clears? Mm. <laughs> Once again, if you want to send us any messages, if you want us to explore or, you know, give our opinions on certain issues, feel free to reach out. Or oh, you have gist. DM yes. us. Yes. If you want us to keep you anonymous, we can do that. If you have, like, not just about us, though. We're, you know, like I said, I'm pure. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>